once upon a time in a land far far away lived an amazingly beautiful girl named Cinderella. Her mother had passed away very long time ago. Her father had brought her up. One day when Cinderella's father remarried, her life had changed dramatically. Her father's new wife and two stepsisters had moved to Cinderella's house. Since the first time they met, they were extremely jealous of her beauty and kind heart. One day, due to work reasons, her father had to leave on a long journey. After that, it was the time when Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters turned their life into a living head. While Cinderella was in garden talking to her beloved bird, her stepmother approached her. Today you will live in the attic. You will do the old house work and also I don't want you working around in these clothes. Cinderella didn't know what to say. Helplessly, she packed her stuff and moved to the attic. After that day, Cinderella began to do all the housework. She used to get very tired. But neither her stepmother nor her stepsisters felt sorry for her. What is that again? Can't you see? It's still dusty. Having done the laundry, I have nothing proper to wear. Cinderella had no friends other than the mice and the birds who used to come to the window. Due to the cold, secretly at night time, Cinderella went down to the fireplace and warm up and fall asleep. As the days went on, an announcement was made by the kingdom. Our prince will be holding a ball at the castle. All the girls who are eligible for marriage are invited to this ball. As soon as the stepsisters heard about this invitation, they told their mother, You will be the most beautiful girls in the ball. The prince must pick one of you. We must get our gowns and shoes for you girls. Move along, we are going to shopping. The preparation went on for days. Both the stepsisters soon their gowns soon. Finally, the big day had arrived. They had woken up very early that morning and they called Cinderella. Cinderella! Cinderella! Come here! Where have you been? Hurry and prepare our bath. Whole day, Cinderella helped them to get ready. Hey, Brushy Jenny, you are going to pull it out. Towards the evening, they finished all the preparations for the ball. You look beautiful, girls. Just beautiful. Cinderella built up all her courage and asked Stepmother, Can I come to the ball show, please? Oh, you? <laughs> yes, well, it said all the young girls can come. Hmm. Is this a dress for the ball? Prince is looking for a wife, not for a maid, my dear. Come on, girls, it's been all right for the ball. And you, make sure that you have finished all the chops before you go to the bag. The stepmother and stepsisters had their way to the castle and all on her own at home. Cinderella began to cry. <laughs> oh my god, I go to the castle too. If my parents were here, none of this would have happened. Suddenly, there was a flash of light and a fairy appeared before Cinderella. My Cinderella, don't cry. You too will go to the ball at the castle. Can I go? Just look at me. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. Now, bring me a pumpkin and seven mice. Still she did as she was told. With her magic wand, the fairy turned the pumpkin into a beautiful horse carriage. 
Then she turned the mice. One of them turned into the driver, and other six of them turned to beautiful white horses. The fairy turned to her and touched with the magic wand. Cinderella's dress turned into a beautiful ball gown. Slippers on her feet turned to beautiful glass shoes. Wow! I look like a princess. It's time to go to the ball, but don't forget. You must be home when the clock strikes ten, because then everything will turn back to what they were. Cinderella promised the fairy to obey her command, and off she go to the royal party on the magic coach. When Cinderella made her entrance, all eyes turned to her at once. But no one at the party could recognize her, not even her stepmother and stepsisters. Cinderella's dazzling charm. Had cast spell on the prince. He could not take his eye off her and walk towards her. Ah, he is coming to me. No, he is coming to me. Most beautiful and beautiful. The prince chose Cinderella as partner for the dance. Cinderella was so happy dancing with the prince. They danced all night long, but hearing the first rock of the clock at midnight, Cinderella was reminded of what the fairy had said. So without a word of goodbye, even she ran down the castle steps of the castle in utter haste. One of her glass shoes came out of her foot, but she was in a great hurry that she did not turn back for it. The prince tried to follow Cinderella, but she fled and vanished out of sight. Suddenly, the prince's eyes fell on the shoe lying on the stairs, and he picked it up at once. Find the owner of this shoe, even if you have to get all the girls in the kingdom to try it. Just find it. Next day, the prince went, took the glass shoe, and went to each and every house in the kingdom. They tried the shoe on the foot of every girl they met, but it didn't fit any of them. Finally, the men came to Cinderella's house, and Cinderella was very happy to see them. Right when she was about to leave her room, her stepmother appeared at the door. Are you going? You want to try the shoe too? <laughs> With a sarcastic laugh, her stepmother locked the door to the attic. No, please stop! Open the door, please! How pathetic! What will the prince have in common with you? Her stepsisters also tried the little glass shoe, but it was too small for their feet. Maybe if we had tried it on my other foot. Wait till you come tomorrow. Today they are a little tired. Their feet must be sore. The ministers were about to leave when one of them saw Cinderella. Please stop! Don't go! I want to try the shoe too. Her charm. The man politely asked her to wear the glass shoe. So Cinderella was asked to slip her foot into the glass shoe. The shoe fitted perfectly on her feet. Young lady, are you the owner of this shoe? Cinderella nodded. Please come to the palace with us. Cinderella went to the palace with Prince Man, and they took in front of the prince. Right when he looked in her eyes, the prince knew it was her who danced with him that night. He held her hands. I finally found you, my princess. Would you marry me? With teary eyes from happiness, she accepted the prince's offer. The royal wedding was fixed, and everyone in the kingdom was invited to it. They got married and lived happily ever after. Thank you.